Why am I being affected by scammers lately? Why have I been the victim of scammers so much lately? What does this mean? Most likely your rights got significantly reduced lately. A person whose rights are reduced loses the feeling of inner strength and internal stability. He starts clinging to the surroundings, trying to acquire said stability from the outside world. Usually we establish our resilience in the external environment through people, because human bodies give us this feeling of assurance. A person who is weak and lost is fond of those consciousnesses who offer their help voluntarily. It is convenient. It prevents one from wasting unavailable energy and strength on searching for better options because there is an option that is available right away. And of course, in this state of consciousness, the probability of losing the rights even more and falling into the hands of scammers significantly increases. You need to stop, analyze your life over the past three years and remember the moments where you have given up your own rights, where you have agreed that you are weak, that you have no right to anything, that you can be controlled, that you are inferior and an absolutely rightless being. I think that the whole story with the virus provides plenty of such examples, ranging from masks to vaccinations and other things and events that are so precious to the system but contribute little to the internal stability of a person. Those were provocations. Would you agree with the system if it allows you to continue using its institutions and benefits? Agree with the system. Agree that it has the right to be in charge of your money, time, and health. Only three criteria. You must grant those three criteria to the system. Your health, money, and time. If you agree at least twice, then for the third time, you will agree automatically right away. You've most likely agreed to some conditions for sure. And now you are getting the result, demonstrating that your rights have diminished. And you can feel it on your own because you feel the need to cling to the surrounding people, preferably those who volunteer their help because you simply have no moral strength to look for the right support, meaning that you cannot consciously determine who is on your side. You have lost your strength somewhere. So stop everything you're doing. Become grounded. Lock yourself in the apartment. Don't let anyone in. Turn off your phone and analyze your own life. Try meditation, fasting, that is, try to cleanse your body and mind. Yes, tell yourself, I've lost everything, I'm a zero, I'm a nobody at this moment. But zero is not a negative value, and can quite easily go up to a positive one. You just have to start from the beginning, and, among other things, start restoring your rights. Rather than repaying someone else's debts since many have a negative balance, a far-gone negative balance passed to them by their ancestors, still paying off the debts of their ancestors' parents and grandparents. So what positive value can you expect to have here? Or perhaps it is your old rights that are being nullified right now. Then to hell with them. Let them vanish together with the system that is currently on fire. Slow down and think about it. There are many scammers out there right now. Like true looters, they always appear when they sense a gain, when people are weak. Does anyone remember the 90s? Just remember how many different sects, churches, and various organizations, whatever they were called, such as pyramid schemes and multi-level marketing, were there. Remember, they sprouted like mushrooms after rain. And each of them, through a false sense of self-respect, preached that you should definitely give away your time, your money, and your health to them, and only them. 
Because in return, they said, we will give you more than your neighbor. They didn't appreciate you, but we will. And we ask very little, just a little bit. But in fact, they would take everything from you. A lot of people were lost, lost in this chaos because they were used to relying on government institutions. At that time, they fell apart immediately. Even now, they are still falling apart quickly. Some do it, obviously, and some don't. It is very noticeable in Ukraine and already becomes noticeable in Russia. The European Union will achieve such awareness a little bit later. Even much later will the US. But it's inevitable. The system is collapsing for everyone. And it is taking all the institutions with it. And sooner or later, it will tell you, if you cannot live without them, then give me your health, your money, and your time. And all of these three criteria are collectively called freedom. The freedom to manage your primary wealth is given to you by nature and gods. They say no. If our institutions mean more to you than your freedom, we will give you all these tools and we will give you the right to use all of them. But to continue existing, we need time. Мы тебе дадим все эти инструменты. Мы дадим тебе право пользоваться всеми нашими созданными инструментами. These institutions won't exist if we don't have time. And our timer ran out. The only time we have is your time. And it's entirely up to you if you agree or disagree with them. Many have already made the decision. Have you?